speaker and look at everybody did that. Last year was a particularly traumatic year at Beardsley Elementary. And so we were seeking out a way to bring back our community, to bring back the warmth, to bring back the safety. Um, and we knew about PACS. The PACS Good Behavior Game is a system of evidence-based strategies that are used throughout the day in order to help children learn different skills that they need to be successful learners. Look to see what group you're sitting at. That will be your PACS team. PAX works well with kindergarten because you're constantly restating the behaviors that you want to see and the kids like working towards the games, they encourage each other and those good behaviors. It happens throughout the instructional day. So all day long kids can be using these kernels and learning about self-regulation. The part that the kids usually love the best is the reward, which is the granny wacky prize. Kindergartners need a lot of transitions and so when you're able to stop and quick do a 30 second wacky game, it makes a big difference and then they're able to refocus quicker. When I was going into it, thinking, eh, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, that's kind of hard. But it's not because the kids love the games. They love the paper ball fight. They love the, the whistling. They love the sing with your nose uh, closed. They love, they love doing the, the tip tag tag. They love playing graveyard. They love it. We can do fun stuff. There's a time and a place for that. Let's get the wiggles out real quick and let's pull it back around and get refocused. All right, we're done. All right, you got 30 seconds to pick all the paper and go. One thing I like about PAX is that when you do PAX, it, you, it helps like some people pay attention a lot. PAX makes me a better fifth grader because when I do PAX, it helps me concentrate a little bit more. I can't see myself teaching without it. From where I was in 2012, and my classroom management styles to where I am now is two total ends of the spectrum. It allows me to get more instructional time back and actually it, it impacts the kids because the kids are able to buy into something they have ownership of. And they feel like they're part of the solution, not part of the issue or the problem. In Elkhart County, we have teachers who are trained for PACs in all seven of the um, county school districts. Beardsley Elementary School is our first PAC school to do school-wide. So my fellow administrators, and I feel the pain that there is so many things going on um, in a given year, but if you choose to implement PACs and you do this in, in a faithful way, you will buy back time. You will buy back time for the, the academic pieces, for the social emotional pieces, for those teachers that said you cannot do it, I say do it. Just You have to try it. I mean, it's research-based over 40 years of, of research with the PACS program. It works. When your behavior is under control and the students are being productive and they're engaged, it doesn't feel like a new implementation. It just makes you feel like your year's going much smoother. And if you have the system in place, you're going to have the behaviors that you expect and you're going to be able to teach and have fun. We've had so much fun this year mm -hmm. with this class.